Hey guys, so I'm here with my version of a Valentine's Day look. Everyone is doing it on YouTube, so I figured why not jump in. But the look that I did is the look you see now, and it's the look that I had on my last video, which was the um, lipstick swatches video. I like this look so much that it looks Valentine's Day to me. I like um, more of a sultry type Valentine's Day look um, versus like, you know, the innocent Valentine's Day look, especially when you've been married for some years. You need to step it up a little bit more than the average dating couple or younger couple. And plus when you're hitting 30, you can uh, go with those older, more sultry looks. Um, so I just basically did a black smoky eye um, and you can pair it with any lip that you want to. I wanted a super bold pink lip um, because I just like the way it looked and it just rings Valentine's Day. But um, a nude look will go great with this. As you can see from the lipstick swatch video, you can see that all, um, all of the lips that I used or put on that day looked good with this black smoky eye. It, the black eye kind of works like a neutral eye. Whereas if you had a neutral brown tan eye, you could probably wear any type of lippy with it and so that's how the black acted when i was doing the video and it wasn't even purpose um on purpose i didn't know i was gonna film that video that day i just happened to wear that look earlier and was like you know what i'm home now let me go ahead and record this video and um but the the using the urban decay black heart it does have pink shimmers all throughout the black so that it does complement a pink lip so if you want to see how i got this look Okay, ladies, so the first thing we're going to start out with is our Ruby Kisses Primer Potion. So, a little bit goes a long way. I'm just going to go ahead and put a dot on my lid and just rub it in. You guys already know. But this stuff works pretty good. I really do like it. Um, it does help. I usually use my Urban Decay on top, but I just didn't feel like it today, guys. So, um, yeah, so I'm just going to do that. Now I'm going to take my NYX stick in black bean. I love this stick. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply that to my lid as you can see from here. And um, then I'm just going to rub that on in really quickly on both lids. I don't want to take it to the top because I don't want to look clownish. Especially with black stuff all over my eyes. That will be like terrible. <laughs> so I just want to keep that on the mobile lid and I don't want to go above of that. Um, now I'm going to take Black Heart, which is my favorite color in the um, palette, which of course is the Urban Decay uh, Naked 3 palette. So um, I'm going to just apply that with this little shader brush and I'm going to pack that on as much as possible, um, pretty much. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing there. Just getting a closer look so you guys can see. It has some beautiful pink shimmers all the way through it. The camera's not picking it up as uh, much, but... If you guys own this palette, you already know how pigmented it is and how um, pretty the pink is throughout. It just rings Valentine's to me. So I'm just going to do that to the other side as well as you can see. And um, I don't want anything in the inside. I just want exactly this color all over the, the lid and nothing in it tear duct. So I'm just going to take any fluffy brush and just blend that harsh line out um, towards the top pretty much. And now guys, I'm going to go ahead and take Nooner, which is just a nice transition color. And I'm going to go ahead with my fluffier brush or my blending diffuse diffusion brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just do the same thing. But I'm going to do it right above the black. And I'm just going to pretty much put a transition color afterward besides doing it first. So I'm just getting closer so you guys can see what I'm doing if that pesky hair would get out of my eye. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just going to continue on and do that. And I sped up the video a little bit as you can see because, you know, just for time's sake. I'm just going to continue to blend it out. Now I'm going to go into my Sephora palette and I'm going to take that black. I didn't want the shimmery black, but I'm going to use this pencil um, brush. And I'm just going to put the product on there and I'm going to blend it back out with that fluffy brush. 
Um, now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. Big lashes. Big lashes is what I wanted for this look because it is supposed to be sultry. Now I'm taking my NYX gel liner and I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. Guys, I am terrible with lining eyes, but I like to connect mine all the way from the bottom to the top and make this, you know, little cat eye or whatever. But I am horrible with eyeliner. Now I'm taking some more of that black heart and just setting that uh, liner and smudging it with more of that black heart at the bottom. So I'm just going to do that on both sides. Now I'm going to take my Michelle Fawn M and just moisturize my lips. And now I'm already into my um, highlighting. I'm just going to take a little bit of the um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC45 and I'm just going to go under there and clean up all of that fallout and all of that, uh, you know, shadow that I left down there. And I'm going to continue that on the other side. Now we're going to go into our Ben Nye Banana Powder and use my Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to blend that in really, really good because I don't want to look like ghost face. Um, so I'm just going to do that to both sides just to highlight and make that really clean underneath so that black can stand out. Now I'm just going to go over and just clean up all that powder off my face. This is the Ruby Kisses Chestnut Powder that I often use to do a little contour. Not much because it's not that much darker than me. So I just like to use it just to give me a little more color. Now I'm using my e.l.f. Um, blush. I'm going so fast, guys. My e.l.f. blush in pink passion. And I'm just going to go ahead and just put that on the apples of my cheek. You can use any color that you'd like, of course. But I thought that pink continues on with our Valentine's Day theme. And now I'm going to put on my favorite lippy, my K.O.R. Um, this was like the last look that I did in the lip swatches video. And I liked it so much. To me, it just rings Valentine's Day with a nice black dress. Um, yeah, or even if you're younger, just some jeans and a nice tee that has some like maybe a baby tee with some pink on it. I think that would be super duper cute. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.